All right, fans, this week, what I have in store for you, you're gonna so much love this. We're gonna be making a jerk lobster today. And this jerk lobster, I'm gonna be serving it totally different with something that you're gonna definitely enjoy. So as you can see all my ingredients I have them lay out here my red pepper green pepper garlic onion all my dry ingredients black pepper salt fresh garlic and scallion and my lobster I have my walkers with jerk season and let's get started so I'm gonna put a little bit of oil a little bit of fresh ingredients and I'm gonna just gonna marinate it for a little bit not too much because you don't want to put too much season on it because the walkers wood itself is very flavorful and spicy so you don't want to put too much. I'm going to serve this with some saute veg, real simple, along with the bami. So just leave this to marinate for a couple minutes and you should be good. Now inside my pot, I'm going to put my seasoned oil because as you can see some herbs are also in my oil which is something great. I like to flavor up my oil just to give it a nice little twist going for it with some garlic. I'm then gonna take the lobster and I'm gonna turn the lobster down. The reason why I turn them down because I want the flavor to go up in the lobster shell and then that will also help to give it a lot more flavor. So as you can see, I'm sauteing this down a little bit, not too much because I don't want it to cook too much because as you know, lobster, you gotta be careful how you make it because if you cook it too much, then it gets hard and it gets chewy. I'm gonna add a little bit of Guinness because you don't know already I like to have a little bit of twist to anything that I'm cooking so the Guinness is gonna help to bring out that charred flavor so the lobster is gonna almost taste like it was on a grill outdoor you see that you see how pretty that looks flavorful juicy and I didn't cook it too much so that's perfect just just make it real nice if you don't have Guinness you can also use red stripe beer you can use Heineken, my red bell pepper, green bell pepper. I'm gonna put it in and just let it saute a little bit, not too much. Put it in, nice, saute, and also put my tomato in and just gonna let this saute. I'm gonna take some of my lobster meat and I'm gonna then put the lobster meat in. And this is gonna become real flavorful and real easy because what I did, I take out the lobster now out of the shell and I'm now making a sauce that is gonna be so enjoyable and something you're gonna definitely enjoy. At this point, you're just gonna let it cook for probably about a minute, a minute and a half. Saute him real good, real simple, real easy. Then I'm gonna go for my barbecue, jerk barbecue. Once again, just tip a little bit inside and this is looking real good, real flavorful. You can just imagine the flavor that is bursting out of that right now. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter and this butter will help to enhance the flavor. It, it enhances the flavor and it helps with building the gravy. So you can have some nice gravy going for it. See, just let it cook another minute and you should be good. Like I say, you don't wanna cook this for a long time. My bami, I'm gonna then fry my bami. I had the bami soaking in milk with a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of vanilla and some sugar. And then I'm gonna go for my presentation now with my my saute veg looking real nice. My bami, probably about four or five pieces, and you're simple. And then you take your lobster and then just drizzle your sauce right over it, and you're gonna definitely enjoy. A dish like this goes well with a nice cold beer, or you can go with some lemonade or a glass of wine, and you're good. That's how we do it for another episode. In the kitchen. <music>